Insects are annoying. Many of them we see them as pests that survive extreme situations and everything we spray on them. Life will be much better without them, right? Well, no. Insects are necessary for our flowers and crops. Without pollinators like bees and beetles, the world will run out of food in less than five years. Many are so incredible that inventions like the helicopter have been inspired by them. But although this sounds amazing, it doesn't take away the annoying aspects of them. So dare to explore the world together with me in search for the most annoying insects on Earth. And for some extra fun, find our mascot net hiding throughout the video. Raining spiders in Brazil. A sunny day of walking can end with heavy rain. People don't always want to get their clothes wet, but what many don't know is that rain is not synonym of wet. Did you know that? If you're one of those people who thinks that when it rains, water always falls, pay attention to this. In San Antonio of Platina, a small town in Brazil, the rain turned out different. Snowballs were seen falling. Many put on their gloves and hats to go out and enjoy them. But what a surprise! What fell from the sky was not snow, but millions of spiders. Biology said that the spider shower was the result of a gust of wind blowing in a nearby forest. Thus, spiders the size of a thumb and hairy legs came to town and, like any other, paid a visit. Fleas you love pets. Do you have a beautiful furry friend in your house? If your four-legged friends, games, and antics are part of your life, then fleas may be too. Fleas are the most annoying insect because they're not only on your pet, but they're also brought home on your shoes. They feed on blood and have fun causing bites. But where do they get the blood? Commonly from your body and your pets too. And if that wasn't enough, as they walk, they leave eggs. With each egg, they will be more fleas for companionship. So if you want to eliminate them, many experts suggest using medicated products to fight fleas, both on your pet and in your home. But if you prefer something more natural, experts also suggest using water with a little bit of apple cider vinegar to remove them from surfaces and even from your shoes. And for your pet, make sure to dilute the vinegar and keep it away from their eyes. Noceums Invisible enemies? Group of insects could attack you. So how are you going to defend yourself? Impossible! It is not easy to fight against something that your eyes cannot see. Ceratopogonids or biting midgets, tiny mosquito-like insects. Their bodies are small, like a grain of salt. If you could see them, you will appreciate their black, brown, or even red color. With silk-like wings, they fly close to their favorite place, water. The sting they cause is terribly itchy. Females use their mouth parts to pierce the skin, spit saliva, and as a reward, they take your blood. Although they travel in large groups, you will not be able to see them but you will surely feel them when they cause the painful sting in clusters around your legs and arms. Ants An afternoon picnic with your family is a fun plan. Sandwiches, cheeses, fruits, and everything you can think of will make the perfect appetizer. But what if you get to sniff out some freeloaders you didn't invite? Ants, in all their presentations, can appear on stage. Its unexpected appearance leaves behind traces of chemicals called pheromones. Thus, the other ants will easily reach your gathering and especially your delicious food. The groups are countless, but their struggles and destructions are. They can nest in building beams and even cause electrical damages. In Florida, United States, there is a species of invasive ant that loves to chew on electrical cables. Experts still do not know why. And finally, if you crush one of the house ants as revenge, you will have a very unpleasant odor. Silverfish In the middle of the night, you can see a tiny shimmer. Something silver is moving fast, and it gives you a chill. 
It's an insect similar to a beetle, but longer, the length of a penny. But its speed to travel is much more terrifying than its size. If you try to catch it, you will appreciate its frame, body, and two antennas on its tiny head. For its tail, you will see three extensions that look like thin hair. And when you bring your hand or your shoe close to exterminate the animal, voila, it will disappear. From somewhere in your house, it will continue to watch you, and it will feed on its molted skeleton. But worse, it can live a whole year without consuming any food. The building full of spiders. Do you have any idea what is behind walls or ceilings? You probably have heard walls have ears. But what if the ceiling now also has millions of eyes and legs? In Baltimore, United States, a water plant became a refuge for millions of arachnids. The impressive insects arrive at the building with the help of their eight legs, and they settle down to stay. Researchers found so many spiders at the site that together they were so heavy that they caused permanent structural damage to the plant. Ceilings and lamps were affected too. And you, what do you think is beyond your roof? Moths Not all insects have a nose, so it makes you wonder how they can perceive the smells of the environment to them. Maybe they have a chemistry kit within. Well, moths can actually smell. They are cousins of the butterflies, but not all of them are gray or brown. There are some with very fun colors, dots, and spots. They have a variety of shapes, sizes, and colors. The smallest were collected in Africa and are as small as a pinhead. Others are bigger than a dining plate. Regardless of size, they have an excellent sense of smell and have the great ability to pollinate flowers. They can smell through chemical reactions. You can actually find them in a closet eating your clothes. But fear not, it will be enough to vacuum and clean with hot water and detergent to get rid of them. Brain mantis Pious but fearsome some insects can be. Although their name sounds friendly, take precautions because appearances can be deceiving. In Virginia, United States, a woman brought a Christmas tree loaded with surprises. Something really frightening happened to her. More than 100 praying mantises came out of the tree. They're named for their devotional gestures of their front legs. The length of a pencil, they have a greenish color on their bodies. They seem calm, but in reality, they are voracious carnivores. They have excellent vision, they are as agile as cats, and can camouflage themselves among leaves. They work efficiently in pest control because they eat all kinds of insects. So maybe they're not that bad after all. In fact, they are so beneficial that people buy them online to release them in their garden so they could eat the insects that would otherwise destroy the vegetables and flowers of their gardens. Tricks to eliminate insects There are guests who can be very annoying. Ants, mosquitoes and fleas are some examples. Do you like to share your home with them? Believe it or not, not only insecticides can help you. There is something practical that perhaps you didn't know. Have you ever tried peppermint or citronella oils? They are as effective as chemical repellents, but they have an additional advantage and is that no one will have health problems if they come into contact with the oils. Essential oils can be used in different ways. Mixed with water as a spray or soaked cotton balls spread anywhere in the house. And if you are not allergic, try directly on your skin. In addition to its fresh aroma, you will be relaxed and the insects will be away from you. And if you are interested in ecology and its food pyramids, spiders can become your best friends. Spiders eat all kinds of insects that can bite and hurt you. And if you want to keep spiders under control, how about lizards? They eat everything too, even cockroaches. So the next time you're looking for a natural way to control pests in your home or garden, Look for other methods you can use that are not harmful to your health, your family, and your pets. Desert Locusts Although it is said that there is room for everyone in the world, that is not true. A small insect can become your worst nightmare. 
to the point of having to fight it to survive. In East Africa, people have to fight the worst infestation of desert locusts. Similar to grasshoppers, they have an elongated body shorter than a pen and varied colors. They are highly mobile and voracious. They also become pests quickly. Its saw-shaped jaws do not attack humans or animals, but other locusts and crops. Thus, people fight to exterminate them in order to have food and to survive. Bed bugs. After working, studying, or playing, you just want to rest. Your room may be the best place. But have you ever wondered what happens while your eyes are closed? You may not be as alone as you think. A plague from the past is in the present. Bed bugs have inexplicably returned with the intention of a stain. They are small reddish brown insects the size of your cell phone's micro SIM card. They have an oval body and a head smaller than their body. They bite the exposed skin of humans and other animals to feed on their blood. The worst thing is that they are resistant to pesticides and can live in hiding without food for a very long time. You won't know you were bitten by them for a few days. So if you start to feel itchy, check your mattress. Cockroaches Your kitchen is full of rich and varied foods. Fruits, meats, bread, and even delicious desserts. Nasty insects can spoil everything while you sleep. But what you don't know is that cockroaches in this world are indispensable. Sounds crazy, right? While humans try to get rid of cockroaches, some animals and plants are counting on them for their survival. They are actually crucial for a balanced ecosystem. If they disappear, the food chain will suffer a fatal break. The reason is, cockroaches can eat anything – food, paper, plastic, and animal droppings – therefore, helping the environment. Of course, they are carriers of disease-causing organisms. Curiously, they can live without a head for weeks. Well, I guess the only option is to tolerate them and make sure they stay outside the home. So many insects around the world – big, small, chunky, and even thin. There is a great variety. Although many times we want to get rid of them, it is not such a good idea. If you find them unbearable, better cheer up thinking about the incredible tasks they perform. Remember that if all of them were exterminated, the story in this world will end for you and me. There will be no pollinators or complete food chains. In the end, they are incredible creatures with super important tasks that often go unnoticed. So go ahead and marvel at their jump and buses and enjoy their ticklish presence in your environment. Thanks for being here and until next time. Remember to click the bell icon after you subscribe so you can get instant notifications of all of our new videos.